Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here from theautomationblog.com. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up communications between your Micro 800 and your PC using USB. Now, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have a current version of Arslinks Classic installed on your PC. And I showed you in a previous video where to get Arslinks Classic Lite for free. So with that said, the next thing we're going to do is plug in our PC to our Micro 800. I have a Micro 830 here using a standard A to B USB cable. So let me go ahead and do that. And now if we come over to the PC, you'll notice down here at the bottom, you'll see that Windows is installing the Rockwell Automation USB CIP device driver. Now, if that doesn't install automatically, it can be because you have an old version of RS Links. You know, old versions of RS Links won't have the drivers for new operating systems or maybe not the latest 64-bit driver. So keep that in mind. If you have the latest version of Lynx, you typically won't have a problem with that installing. That said, you'll also see here in our Lynx Classic Lite that it automatically added a VBP driver as well as a USB driver. And if we expand the USB driver here, we can see our Micro 830. Now, some reasons that may not work can include that you've added the virtual backplane driver or USB driver in manually for some other product. And then when you plug in your Micro 830, RS Links can't add that automatically. So all you do is unplug your 830 or your Micro 800 from your USB connection, delete those drivers, and then replug it in. And then it sh RS Links should add those drivers back in automatically. And of course, when you unplug the Micro, you can see the USB driver disappears automatically as well. Now, another issue that can come up is if your Micro 800 is a newer firmware rev than your version of RS Lynx. For instance, let's say my Micro 800 is version 10, but my version of RS Lynx only knows about version 7 and below. In that case, you'll want to go in and expand the virtual backplane, and then right-click on the Micro and upload EDS file. Select Yes. And next, and next, and next, and next, and next one more time, and finish. And then you should see in a few moments your Micro 800 show up in your RS Lynx Classics RS Who. And that's how easy it is to communicate between your Micro 800 and your PC using USB. Now, if you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe. And if you'd like to learn everything you need to know to get started with the Micro 800 line of programmable controllers, check out my training course over at nano-basics.com. And if you'd like to support me and my work to bring you more free videos and articles at theautomationblog.com and remove all the ads from all of them, then consider pledging $1 a month over at patreon.com forward slash automation. And until next time, peace.